And are you finding that your campaigns have a, a, a change? Are you catering to, to, to different, different audiences via different channels? There's that requirement to constantly have content and constantly engage people. I think clients can potentially get lost in that and they feel you should always be pumping things out and you get to this sort of white noise, which I think everyone's trying to avoid. You want to keep that authenticity, keep being meaningful, but it's how you strike that balance with having enough things to say. And if you start a dialogue, continuing it with content versus going off in a totally um, meaningless direction and just putting noise out there. The creating content for content's sake is where people fall down very, very quickly. Like I see some people like, I have to put up three stories. I mean, I'm not talking about pop sugar, but you might have a brand, so I need to put three things today. If they're not relevant to the end reader, nobody's gonna find it, right? The people who are very successful are because they're actually creating something that people want to consume. But to your point on kind of having almost like a, a content calendar of having to push out three stories a day, that can actually be incredibly counterintuitive yeah. because it almost works to the old traditional publishing model where effectively we are the holders and the creators and the owners of content and we've got a hypodermic syringe of content which we're feeding with you but actually that content conversation works two ways so your consumers should be coming back to you and should be engaging with them rather than it being a kind of very formulated plan. Uh, mobile has made a fundamental change in everything. Um, I think it's a big challenge for advertisers. You still see a lot of advertisers throwing assets made for other channels onto mobile, which yeah. doesn't help. So thinking more mobile first and, and, and thinking in that portrait rather than landscape and, and using that and using the stuff, you know, your smartphone can do is incredible. You know, GPS and things you can do with vibration and, and the way you can recognize things. There's wonderful things you can do there. Not always the cheapest things to do. There are, there are clever ways of doing that. I think it's all about navigating the right levers to use on it. You almost start with a, a content idea and then which platforms does it go to.